My Wicked Little Lies by Victoria Anders Alexander. Sorry. Um, this is a book I picked up. It's a discarded book from the library. And I shouldn't wait till 9 o'clock to do these videos because I always get to get, start to get really, really, really tired. And it's time for me to go to bed. But... <clears throat> Well, this book's about happy marriage. <laughs> sort of. Oh, they're extremely happy, mar happily married. And completely and thoroughly doubt each other. Especially him. And <clears throat> the thing that's not nice, excuse me, about this book is uh, he plays head games with her. Mind games with her. And she's been 100% thoroughly honest to him but anyways so it has some suspicion and doubt in it his name's Adrian and I really love his mom he has a terrific family he has all his brothers and sisters Sebastian and his wife Veronica and I can't remember the names of them all now but uh, there's they were um, Adrian and oh my gosh Eve or Evelyn were spies, government spies. Anyways, there's a bit of mystery and lies of omission there that they don't know. They don't know that each other were, sort of, kind of. He knows she was. She doesn't know he was, and she doesn't know that he knows she was. <laughs> there's a lot of witty humor in this book, and... I don't know. I liked it. It's cute. It's witty. But, you know, he doesn't trust her. And, and then he starts playing head games with her and mind games with her. Kind of equivalent to, in this day and age, going on the internet and making up a false ID. And then going and flirting with your wife. Right? You make up a false ID as another man. And you flirt with your wife to see if she'll take the bait you to see if she's honest or not sorry things are bugging me they're getting too long and that's just wrong so very wrong head games stupid little games are just deceitful disgusting and sickening and just you know childish so i didn't really like that uh the whole book is just about a whole bunch of little games and head games and then, but the thing is, is that they really, really love each other, and she thinks he's really great. He's very down to earth, and he's not cheating on her, and she's not cheating on him. And he, you know, she talks all the way through the book about how much she loves him. He talks all the way through the book about how much he loves her. This is consistent and constant that they're the only ones for each other. She's the only one for him. He's the only one for her. They want to grow old together. They're truly in each other's heart, like this constantly, constantly expressed from each of them thinking to themselves or to each other or to each or other people how much they love each other. Then I'm going to look up page 255 because this just about made me stop reading the book. This, this did it. I actually put down the book and said, heck with that, because it just, I just, supposed to think so much of this man, and already he's playing like head games with her, and deceiving her to find out if she loves him, and then there's a little bit more to it than that. There's another storyline going on there, and there's a lot more to it, and there's actually another guy, Max, and uh, what's her name, Celeste involved. And there's other people, of course, but, uh, was it 255? Uh, maybe I'm going to have to stop the tape, stop the tape, stop the recording and, uh, find it here. Just like me. Yes, I had the book in hand. I had the page open. And it was 275. 
Yes, I wrote down 255. <clears throat> this is extremely common for me. I don't know why. I can be looking right at something and I'll say 275 and I wrote down 255. <clears throat> it's not the first time and I know it won't be the last time I do stuff like that. I do stuff like that all the time. I have a doctor's appointment and it was 150 and she repeated it and she said 150 she left it on my phone in a recording a voicemail and she said 150 and she said 150 and then she said 150 <laughs> for whatever reason I wrote down 350 I sat right there and I listened to her and I heard the message she said 150 and I wrote down 350 and in my head or 320 or something I forgot three no but anyways, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, that's good. It's really late in the afternoon. That'll work out really well for me. Even while she's saying 150, and I'm writing down 350, <clears throat> even while she's saying 150, I'm thinking, oh, cool, that's late in the afternoon. That'll work well. And I missed the appointment. It's very, very frustrating. I just don't get it. Age, I guess. I don't know. That's got to be an age thing. <laughs> I just... Extremely frustrating. Okay, so they're at a masquerade ball, and the husband Adrian slips a note to a friend of Evelyn's. They call her Eve, they call her Evie, they call her Evelyn. Her name, I guess, is Burl. Burl, I don't know. Burr. I called her Burl. Um, so they're all in costume. So he says, um, he had seen Burl and Dunwell arrive and had recognized their carriage. Of course, even if he hadn't, he would have still recognized Burl regardless of any disguise. It had been a long time, but he had seen those lovely breasts before. Okay, I put down the book. That was it. I'm just sick of him. I'm done with Adrian. I'm not reading this book anymore. We're supposed to believe that all through this book that he absolutely loves his wife. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely loves his wife. But he sees an old fling he used to be with a long time ago. And she's at a masquerade ball. And even though she's all dressed up and has a mask on, he would know her anywhere because of her lovely breasts. That was it. I put the book down. I thought, screw this. I ain't reading this anymore. I'm done. Adrian, obviously, I wish she would have left him now. I really, truly wish she would have left him. Obviously, he's just a pig and a dog. So that just really finished me on the book. I, I finished it to see what was going to happen with the government paperwork. So I skimmed through it, and I'm just going, you know what? Evie, I, Evelyn, obviously, didn't make such a good marriage after all, and I think... Adrian's an absolute pig. So, but anyways, that was it. I'm done with that book. I'm moving on.